let's put that down. It is extremely rare, but it is possible that air bubbles are appearing inside the tube, uh, <coughs> uh, inside the tube, due to a tiny hole or an actual split in the tube. In all my many years of using continuous ink systems, I can count on the fingers of maybe one or possibly two hands over the thousands and thousands of systems that I've had dealings with. I, I, I can only think of a very, very few times where these extremely resilient tubes are actually either split or have a tiny little pinhole, usually where the where the where the clamps have been or where the tube actually turns fr to and fro but i have to emphasize it's very it's very very rare to see one of these tubes actually split but if this is the case there's no doubt about it your whole system will need replacing if your continuous ink system is out of warranty which is usually over 12 months old. That's, that's the usual warranty on CIS systems, certainly from Lyson. Ask your supplier for a CIS upgrade deal, which will enable you to change over your existing inks over to a new system at a reasonable price, usually at cost. You'd, if you'd like to see our training movie number 26, which is CIS Upgrade, that's the title of the movie. This shows you a simple, clean method of transferring your inks across to a new continuous ink system without wasting a drop of valuable license ink. So it's a, it's a nice little uh, a video clip that shows you how you can syringe out your old inks into the new system because really it's the value of the inks that's important here. Now, let's show you the, the step four. Let's get this out of the way. Now, more likely than a, than a failure in the line, uh, if you're not achieving an airtight seal between your cartridge, let's show with, a, with, a, with an Epson cartridge here, the airtight seal is at the bottom there. So, if we're not achieving an airtight seal between your cartridge and the print head, now this means to say either a cartridge or a, or a continuous ink system cartridge um, the, the, the way it actually it actually it actually goes like that let's show you a little bit closer here we are like that there we are and it, it actually pushes down quite nicely there so if you're not achieving an airtight seal between either your cut your your CIS cartridge or your pre-filled cartridge and the print head if this is the case if you're using pre-filled cartridges, simply throw the old cartridge away and put the, a new pre-filled cartridge in there and that should solve the problem. Because when you throw away the old cartridge, of course, you're, you're, you're throwing away the old faulty seal and you're bringing in the new, you're, you're bringing in the new cartridge seal. Uh, now, if it's the case of a CIS system and the, the, it's the actual cartridge here that is failing, again, you can simply order up a new CIS cartridge of the correct colour, and uh, you can look at our training video clip number nine, uh, CIS cartridge change and maintenance. Now, this video uh, shows you how to change and reprime the CIS cartridge, and also how to clean the little black plastic uh, uh, spigots which pierce your cartridge. Actually what we do, we soak our, our, uh, our cotton bud in hot water and we, 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 we clean around these spigots to make sure we've got a nice clean airtight seal between the piercing spigot that's in there and the cartridge itself. That's the thing that really makes the difference in, in printer reliability. Now step five if there seems to be plenty of ink available in the reservoir and feed tubes, it may be that your cartridges are simply being starved of ink, either by the ink feed tubes being kinked, twisted or compressed, preventing any ink from travelling up the line, or ink has managed to dry out inside the tube, which although extremely rare, is nevertheless still a possibility. Now let's turn the camera so we look at the 
we look at the uh, the printer here that we've actually rigged up to illustrate a few of the problems that we've just been talking about so let's let's look at the let's look at the printer there and we'll adjust the lighting so you can actually see this clearly Now to, ch to, to check whether a particular colour cartridge which is causing problems uh, is, is, is blocked, uh, all you need to do, we've actually got here uh, a tube that's got bubbles here, can you see this? Now all we do in this case is we can, we can disconnect, we can actually disconnect the, this tube and we can see what our problem is. As soon as we disconnect this tube you can possibly see these bubbles going back down the line, which indicates the, the bubbles actually going down. So in the case of, uh, of, of this sort of problem, where you actually see bubbles coming up, you can actually pull the inks back up the line. Okay, now you can, you can pull the inks back up the line quite nicely. Now it may be, let's, let's release this off again, it may be that it may be that you've actually got a little bit of, of ink dried up in the line. It's very, very rare, but it can happen. I've seen it a few times in my, in my experience, but it's quite rare. Now, if you have the ink that doesn't travel up the line, the simplest solution is to get a syringe with a little tailpiece here and a little bit of tubing. Now if you haven't got anything like this, we can always send this to you free of charge. It's not a problem. And what you do is you connect that little bit of tubing there over the end of your tube supply line. So let's push it there. And let's say we had a little bit of a blocked area here with a bit of blocked, uh, a little bit of blocked ink. We would withdraw the, the plunger and by the time you're pulling it through, you really are pulling a vicious amount of vacuum through. And, and what will happen is it will resist for a period and then it will go. And then it will travel up, it will bring the ink and the obstruction with it. And what I advise you to do is the first little bit of ink that comes through into the syringe, you'll actually see a little bit of particles in there, dried particles. You pull it through, what you can then do is is close this off and you actually throw away that 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 offending uh, ink and you're pinching the tube so it doesn't go back up the line and then you can actually push fit your tubing back onto the particular uh, cartridge and then you've cleared your obstruction in the tube and it's ready to go a couple of nozzle checks and cleans and it'll be fine now here we've also got an illustration of a twisted tube. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but I've actually created a twist. And again, all we have to do there is to is to pull off the tubing, un undo. We we can then pull the ink through either up the tube directly, or we can actually pull it through the cartridge, and then we can simply push it back in, and then and then we then we're fine again. So it's simply unkinking. Uh, un unkinking the the uh, 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 unkinking the tube also look out for any areas where the tubing itself is is uh, is pinched if any area where the tubing is pinched um, you, you obviously have to make sure that the that the the, the clips do not actually pinch the tubes unduly these are the correct clips um, and they, they don't uh, pin, pinch the tube, but you may find, particularly where the tubing turns around, you may find that that's got a little bit tight, and it actually is, it's, 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 it's too tight there, uh, and it's not allowing it to flow, so you simply have to, have to relax off the tubing a little bit, so that the tubing forms a nice, easy, easy uh, curve.